In this example, we want to write 3.212 as a fraction notation. OK, we have Richard online. Can you tell me what would be the first step? No, I'm not really sure on that one. OK, uh, let's take a look at some examples. If I have uh, point 0.1, Richard, can you tell me what point 0.1 is equal to in fraction? Uh, point 0.1 is 1 tenth. Very good. The point is 1 over 10. You said 1 over 10 because we have one number here after the decimal. So if I have point 0.23, Richard, can you tell me what this would be in terms of fraction? It would be. 23 over 100. Very good. Yeah, it's 23 over 100. So what if I had uh, 1.23? How do you think we can write this as a fraction, Richard? OK, so that's a mixed numeral, 1 and 23 one hundred. Right, you can write this as 1.23 over 100. Does that make sense? Uh, OK, yeah, so you're writing it as an improper fraction instead of a mixed numeral. Right. So can you tell me now how do you write 3.212 as a fraction? OK, that would be uh, uh, 3,212 over 1,000. Very good. Yeah, exactly. So we write it over 1,000 because here we have three digits after the decimal points, and here we use three zeros. OK. Now, can I reduce this, Richard? Is that reducible? Yes, it's reducible by two because the last number of the top number is an even digit. Very good. Uh, can you tell me if you divide top and bottom of the fraction by 2, what do we get at, for the fraction? Uh, 1,606 over 500. Very good. The top half of 3,212 would be 1,606 and half of 1,000 would be equal to 500. Can I reduce this even more, Richard? Yes, you can still reduce by 2 because the last numbers are even. Very good. So tell me what you get. 803 over 250. Very good. So half of 1,606 would be 803 and half of 500 would be 250. Can I reduce this even more? Oh, I'm sure you can, but I can't do the 803 in my head like the others. Um, 250 can be reduced by 2 because the last number is even, but the 803 can't because the last number is a 3. So I have to find what 803 is divisible. I have to find a common divider. And off the top of my head, I don't know how. OK. Uh, you were right. Uh, we cannot divide the, the top and bottom of the fraction by 2 because the top number is not even. So uh, 3, can I divide uh, the top number into 3 evenly? How do I check that, Richard? I'm uh, sorry, I'm checking my notes. Um, a number is divisible by 3 if the sum of its digits is divisible by 3. So the sum of those digits is 11, and that's not divisible by 3, so no. Very good. So we cannot divide the top number by 3. We cannot divide this by 5, because uh, it should end at 0 or 5. So it doesn't go 
to 2, doesn't go to 3, doesn't go to 5. So uh, we can say this is it. This is the uh, final fraction. So we have to make sure that we reduce the final uh, of this fraction into this uh, reduced form. So this is how you write the decimal into a fraction. So you divide it by 1,000 here again because you have three digits after the decimal point. That's why you put three zeros here. Just like point 0.1 is equal to 1 over 10. Point 0.23 is equal to 23 over 100. 1.23 is equal to 123 over 100. So 3.212 is equal to 3,212 over 1,000, and then we have to reduce them.